The Olympics is less than a week away. The world is gearing up for the mega event in Paris. The big guns, United States, China, Japan, Great Britain, all set to battle it out for the top spot. But there is one more nation that is raring to make this one the best medal haul yet. India's 117-member Paris Olympics contingent is carrying the hopes of 1.4 billion people from winning just two medals at 2016 to seven medals at the Tokyo Olympics, where India bettered their ranking to 48th from 67th. India is now looking to set a historic benchmark at this edition and with hopes of bidding to host the 2036 Olympics, this is the perfect stage to show the world that India is a sporting nation on the rise. Close to $56 million have been spent on Indian athletes' preparation for the event. And now India's cricket board, BCCI, has announced a support of over a million dollars to India's Olympic Association campaign. After a successful Asian Games last year, where India finished fourth with a historic medal count of 106 medals, Olympics is the next big target. So who are India's top medal contenders? Who are most likely to win medals for India? Which event can they come from and who will most probably be bringing it home? The big biggest medal hopeful, of course, is Neeraj Chopra. India's only gold medal winner from the Tokyo Olympics, Chopra's game has only been progressively impactful with the years. Of course, uh, be it the 2022 Asian Games gold, the Diamond League win the same year, or the World Championship gold medal in 2023 last year, Chopra revels in the big prize. Nothing less than gold will do for him. But his biggest aim has been to cross that 90-meter barrier, something he has not forgotten and is constantly working towards. चलो वो तो उससे पहले ही कोशिश करेंगे कि भाई ऐसा कुछ होना है तो उससे पहले हो जाए 90 मीटर मार के जो भी मतलब सब कुछ अच्छा चल रहा है तो ओलंपिक्स तक तो शायद ना ही रुके अगर लगना है तो उससे पहले भी लग सकती है बाकी अच्छी हो रही है तैयारी बढ़िया है पब्लिश कर देते हैं और मैंने जो मेरे एजेंट हैं स्विट्जरलैंड के हैं वो उनसे बात कर रखी है तो जिस भी कंपटीशन में हमको अच्छा लगेगा उनकी तरफ से पूरी लिस्ट आती है इस साल कौन से कौन से कॉम्पिटिशन होने वाले हैं अभी के लिए दोहा और टूर्कू जो पावनूर्मी गेम्स है फिनलैंड वाले वो फाइनल हो गए हैं शायद से कुछ दिन बाद थोड़ी और एक आधी लिस्ट आए तो हम उसमें फाइनल करके आप सभी को बता देंगे वरना पब्लिक तो हो ही जाएगा Neera Chopra isn't the only contender from athletics. There is another candidate who knows how to cross hurdles both on and off the field. It is India's Jyoti Yaraji. In the past two years, Yaraji's climb to the top has been significant. When she takes to the tracks in Paris, though, Yaraji will become the first Indian woman to participate in 100 meters hurdles at an Olympics event. Yaraji is the Asian athletics champion and Asian Games silver medalist. She missed the direct qualification to the tournament by just 0.1 seconds when she competed at the Monet Grand Prix earlier this year, but her impressive run saw her qualifying for the event through her world ranking. The athletics events will begin, of course, on the 1st of August. I don't have experience about the Olympics, how it's going on, but just I'm quite confident for that. I hope it will go well and uh, I may manage because I have experience from Asian Championships and Asian Games and World Championships. So from there, uh, I'm taking my plus points over there. And whatever the minuses are there, I'm leaving over there only. Another category that has seen India shine at the Olympics in the past is badminton. This time, it's the double spare that is dominating India's medal prospects in the sport. The pair had an impressive 2023, going up to number one in the world. They enter as the third-ranked pair, which with the French Open and the Thailand Open wins behind them. And ever since the Tokyo Olympics, they also won a World Championships bronze, an Asian Games gold, and an Asian Championships title. So they are quite the team to beat. Yeah, I think it's similar. I think uh, everybody wants to do. It's not just us. Every athlete yeah. uh, wants to do well at the Olympics, and uh, it's the ultimate goal. Uh, but uh, apart from that, we also want to win medals uh, in the tournaments we've not medaled at this year and uh, yeah be as consistent as he can hs pranoy and pv sindhu of course are also in the mix they cannot be underestimated either despite 
the lack of form and the mixed run they're having right through the games. In fact, Lakshya Sen, though, seems to be a very exciting medal prospect in the singles event. Another medal hopeful, of course. In fact, two coming from boxing. Nikit Zareen is a two-time world champion, but will make her Olympic debut at Paris. She is a feisty competitor in the 50 kgs category. In addition to her world championship gold, Zareen has also won gold at the Commonwealth Games and a bronze in the Hanzhou Asian Games last year. But this is, of course, the Olympics, and it won't be easy, even though her path to the semi-final, right up to the semi-final, though, seems to be under control. Levlina Burgahin, on the other hand, has a difficult draw. She might face top seed Li Qian in the quarters. That'll be a massive challenge. But Levlina is a fighter too. She won the bronze in Tokyo Olympics and silver at the Asian Games last year. Moving on to the big one now. India's hockey team ended a 40-year-old medal drought when they won bronze at the Tokyo Olympics. The success, of course, was followed by gold at the Asian Games. But recently, the team has seen a bit of dip in form. And add to that, are they are placed in a tough group alongside Australia, Belgium and Argentina. But given India's success at the previous edition of the Olympics, hopes will always rest on the men's hockey team. And speaking of carrying expectations, here's the next medal hope. Quite the outside chance, but the Tokyo silver medalist Mirabai Chanu would be eyeing to win her second medal on the biggest stage here at the Olympics. The only concern, of course, is the prolonged injury break that had kept her away of most events uh, over the last year. While the break may make her a not-so-potent threat to her opponents, it also means she is hungry for success on her comeback trail. She missed out on a medal at the Asian Games, so Paris is where there could be redemption for Chanu. Now, while these are some of the top contenders for India at the Paris edition, India have plenty of young talents to watch out for. Be it Antim Pangal in wrestling, who is a two-time under-20 world champion, a success she translated onto the senior level too, winning bronze at the Asian Games, or Aditi Ashok in golf, who painfully finished fourth at the Tokyo Olympics. The youngster has only matured in the past four years. And if India wants to finish their medal tally in double digits, the biggest contributors will have to come from shooting. A sport that gave India, in fact, its first individual gold at the Olympics. The same sport bears some responsibility at Paris Games too. Manu Bakar, Sift Kaur Samra and Sarabjot Singh are some of the medal hopes for India when it comes to shooting. But moving on from the youngsters to the seniors, veterans who may want to go out on a high. And I've put down table tennis legend Sharath Kamal here on top of the list alongside Rohan Bopana, who's the oldest member of the Indian contingent at the Games. Of course, there is Vinesh Fogart. After a chaotic and troublesome last few years, Vinesh would want to shut her critics up with a stinging response at the Games. And of course, there are many more in that list who could turn things around for India this time around. Across continents, one powerful news source. Bringing you diverse perspectives on the issues that matter. We go beyond the boundaries to give you that little extra about every sporting moment. So thank you for making First Post 5 million strong. We are counting on your support and you can trust us to bring you the news unfiltered and unvarnished.